Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Corzellos here today. I want to talk to you about hypothyroidism, what it is, what you can do about it, and uh, hopefully you don't have it. Well, hypothyroidism means low functioning thyroid. And your thyroid gland is right here in the neck. It's a small gland that secretes a bunch of different hormones, mostly T3 and T4, so it regulates your metabolism. That has to do with energy, weight, and so on and so forth. So a lot of folks will come to me saying, hey, you know, I'm pretty tired, or I'm having problems losing losing weight, or I'm just gaining weight despite good diet, good exercise, or I'm feeling really tired, I'm losing hair, constipated, heavy periods, dry skin. So it can be a lot of symptoms of hypothyroidism. If you're having those, you definitely should talk to your healthcare provider about getting tested for it, amongst other things as well. Because keep in mind, a common thing that uh, people can mistake is hypothyroidism can mimic low iron too. You can just be anemic. So there's a, um, it's very, very important to not just go on WebMD and self-diagnose. Talk to a professional. We're here to help. So if you are having those symptoms, you want to check your numbers. And when you check your numbers, we initially will check TSH. TSH stands for Thyroid Stimulating Hormone. It's made by the brain, which stimulates the thyroid gland to produce two hormones, T3 and T4. And there's more hormones, but the, the major ones we look at, T3 and T4. Now, T4 is an inactive one. T3 is the active thyroid hormone. That's the one you want. Um, so a lot of times we'll check TSH and possibly free T3 and free T4. Some folks all check thyroid antibodies because there can be an autoimmune process where the, th uh, the thyroid is being attacked by the body itself to overproduce your thyroid hormones or underproduce your thyroid hormones. Um, and then so some folks will actually even check um, a lab marker called reverse T3. So keep in mind, um, when you have that T4, I mentioned T4 or inactive thyroid typically converts into the T3 or active thyroid. There's some folks who are not con doing that conversion. They're converting their inactive T4 into reverse T3, and that doesn't do a whole lot for you. So you might be getting medication for thyroid or supplements for thyroid, and it's not doing the job. So some folks, I'll check that as well. Now each patient I'll individualize treatment. I'm like, do we need to do further testing? Do we just need to do initial screening? So it really depends on the patient, their symptoms, and their medical history. So what happens when you get the labs? So now here's an issue of debate. So certain labs might have a little bit different lab values. Uh, a common reference range for TSH, for thyroid stimulating hormone, is zero to four-ish. So um, a lot of times, I might have a more narrow reference range, maybe zero to two and a half ish. Um, and so, if some folks aren't, um, they're technically like, for example, 3.8, but they're not in my smaller reference range, and they're exhibiting symptoms of hypothyroidism, I might choose to treat that. Uh, a good example is with uh, testosterone. So, I have a lot of folks who want to check their testosterone levels. And guys, testosterone levels for total testosterone ranges from anywhere from 300 to up to 1,000, but some people who are like at 330, you're technically within normal limits, but I'm going to treat that because you're having symptoms and you're on the low end of normal. So you don't have to be so cut and dry when it comes to labs as far as when I treat my patients. So same deal with uh, hypothyroidism. I got to look at symptoms. I got to look at numbers. I can't just diagnose based on one value or the other. You got to look at the whole big picture, which I typically uh, do at a clinic. And so if you do um, exhibit hypothyroidism symptoms, the labs match up, then I'll try to treat it. So when it comes to treatment, that's where things vary as well. So a lot of times, uh, traditional providers will give Synthroid or Levothyroxine, which is inactive T4. Now you might want to wonder, like, why are you giving the inactive one? Well, the inactive one has a long half-life, so if we give enough of that inactive one, it'll eventually convert over to the active one. There are medications it's just straight up that T3 or the active one, but it has a shorter half-life. And so more often than not, we'll give that T4, and that's the Synthroid or Levothyroxine. And then there's some folks who might have a T3 medication and a T4, or there's some folks who have the combination, and that's, you might have heard of this medication called Armour Thyroid or uh, Nature Thyroid or West Thyroid. So that's actually the thyroid gland itself um, where you're getting some hormones, but mostly T3 and T4. So, um, which kind of makes sense too. You're getting a little bit inactive, some active. Um, so it really varies. So some folks want something more natural, some folks want something synthetic, and sometimes I'll give them um, a combination of supplements, good diet, good exercise, and then a medication. 
Now, the last thing as far as treatment goes, some people don't even want to go on any prescription. So they'll say, well, what kind of natural supplements can I take? Now, um, keep in mind, back in the day, they would add iodine to salts. And a lot of people are doing sea salt now, so there's, they don't, there's no the iodine in that. There's a lot of minerals, but it's, not, it's different than like table salt. So um, when it comes to natural supplements, if you look at a lot of the over-the-counter ones, that's where you have to be careful. Not every over-the-counter uh, thyroid supplement is created equal. Some have particular herbs in it, some have particular nutrients in it, and some actually have the thyroid gland in it. So you have to be careful when you choose over-the-counter ones to treat your thyroid. You definitely have to check your labs on a regular basis and talk to your healthcare provider before th starting a thyroid medication. People think supplements are, you know, they don't work. But I've seen it work. I have a few patients where they're on a natural supplement. I check their numbers. Numbers are improving. Symptoms are improving as well. So there's a different uh, approaches for how to treat your thyroid issue. Um, and then once you start treatment, yeah, for sure you got to get those numbers tracked. Make sure things are getting better. And then lastly, um, keep in mind, when it comes to symptoms of whether it's fatigue, sleep problems, weight problems, temperature problems, uh, there can be a number of factors, not just thyroid. So a lot of folks today are overweight and tired. And it's not just your thyroid. It could be your iron, it could be burnout, it could be your adrenal glands, it could be your other hormones. So you definitely got to look at a more comprehensive approach when it comes to treating your symptoms. So I hope that makes some sense regards to the hypothyroidism picture. And I'll talk to you guys later.